morning friends! I am here today with an empties video. If you don't know what that is, I basically been, as I've been using up products throughout the last couple of months, I keep them in a little bag to the side and then I do mini reviews now that I've finished up the products and I've gotten a really good idea of how they work and I let you know if I like them or not, if I would repurchase them. So for those of you who've been following along, you probably know that I've recently had a baby. She's sleeping right next to me on the couch right now, and I'm really, really hoping that she won't wake up during this video. Number one, Bioderma Creoline H2O Solution Micellaire. This stuff is known worldwide to be used by makeup artists and things like that because it's excellent for the runway when you just want to remove a little bit of your makeup and you don't want to have to take off the whole face or if you do need to take off the whole face of makeup very, very quickly and without leaving a greasy feeling or doing the whole washing process. I wouldn't recommend it as a regular cleanser, of course. You want something that's going to be a bit more nutritional and a bit nicer for whatever your skin type is. But if I'm being honest with you, there have been one or two nights recently when this has been used as a face clean cleanser because the baby is screaming and needs to be fed and it's already midnight and she hasn't fallen asleep yet and I just need to get the makeup off and go to bed. So this is excellent for that. That being said, in France it's, it's relatively cheap. I think I got the two huge bottles like this, 500 milliliters, for I want to say 14 euros. So 7 euros a bottle. Not bad considering this lasted me an entire year. Yes, I would repurchase at this price. That being said, I've seen this for sale on Amazon US, or at least last year when I looked up the price on Amazon to see how much people were paying in the US. I think it was like 40 or 50 dollars for a bottle that was smaller than this. And for me personally, there's no way I would ever spend 40 or 50 dollars on a makeup remover unless it was magical. And while this is great, it doesn't leave any sort of greasy feeling or anything like that on your face, and it's effective for removing most makeup, not so much waterproof, but all other types of makeup, uh, it's just not worth, you know, 40 or 50 dollars. Is it worth 7 euros? Definitely worth 7 euros. This next product is a family favorite. It is the Rub 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 Scrub by Lush. We love this. It's all empty as you can see. Unfortunately, it still smells really good. It's got just the right amount of scrub for me personally. Uh, if you have a Lush store nearby, you can try this on in the store at their sink and they'll let you test it out on the back of your hand and rinse it off and you can see if you like how much that scrubs or if it's too harsh or not harsh enough, etc, etc. That's the great thing about Lush is you can try on all their products. This is my husband's favorite, favorite, favorite. We ran out not too long ago and I put another one in the shower without telling him and he was so excited and he's like, it's got just the right amount of scrub and it leaves your skin so soft afterwards and I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's because of the oil so it does leave like a very thin, it doesn't feel oily but your skin feels slightly more moisturized than it would with a regular shower gel. For me personally, regular shower gels, they, they dry out my skin just a tad and I have to put lotion on afterwards. But with this, that's less of a worry and I do love the scrubbing effect. Scrub number two. This is from the body shop. I can't see where the name of the, the thing on this is, but it's the chocolate one. I'll write the name, the proper name of the scent down below. It really, this is, I was too, I finished the scrub, but I was too creeped out to like it because I really felt like I was putting dessert all over my body. It really genuinely smells like chocolate. I have no idea how they did that, but it it doesn't have that fake, like, nasty chocolatey smell. This smells like maybe chocolate pudding or something, and it's got... It feels like it's the crystals could be, like, sugar, and you just, when you're scrubbing it on, it it does scrub your skin nicely, but it feels like... And it also, it doesn't look very pretty because it stays brown as you're scrubbing it on. So it, like you're smearing brown stuff all over your skin and it takes a minute to well, rinse off. And it, if you're a huge, huge chocolate fan in all of its forms, this would be for you. Otherwise, I, I won't personally be repurchasing this. I was a little bit creeped out by how much it felt like it was actually rubbing food all over my body. This is the peach scrub by The Body Shop. Loved it. It had this a really similar texture to the chocolate one, except for it was a little bit softer, a little bit more creamy, and it smelled like artificial peaches rather than the chocolate one where I felt like I was rubbing pudding on myself. I would probably not repurchase the peach just because they have so many scents 
to try and I want to try something different next time but it definitely wasn't a disappointment it was just fine this one I'm technically not counting as a scrub because I didn't do a very good job it is the bourgeois gommage de rêve those of you who watch a lot of beauty videos are probably well aware that bourgeois does a wonderful makeup line and that they're owned by Chanel which means all oh, the little ones waking up bourgeois is owned by Chanel so they have some products that are really good knockoffs of the Chanel makeup products and etc etc and so I had a lot of hope when I bought this shower gel it's supposed to be exfoliating and nourishing with it's got jojoba oil in it that's nice honestly though the, the little beads they just like they felt like they were sliding on me they didn't they didn't scrub they didn't exfoliate anything at all so that was kind of lame the scent, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, I would definitely not repurchase this, but it was really cheap. So if you're, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know, it's just so boring. And there are so many other good shower gels that are cheap as well. I, I just, it's not a bad one. It's just not interesting. For another body scrub that's not really a body scrub, we have, the, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'll type it down below. It's the Laino or Leno um, exfoliating. What's what is it called? Oh, there's an English on the bottom. Comfort exfoliating oily gel for your body for dry atopic atopy pro skin. Uh, I've got a, this. This was just not up my alley at all. I thought it would be great during my pregnancy to help with dry skin. I got it in a glossy box, so luckily I didn't pay anything for it. I didn't like the smell, first of all. It smells quite a bit like olive oil, which is not something... Actually, kind of, yeah. Like olive oil mixed with chemicals. That's what this smells like. It didn't leave my skin moisturized. Like the jelly, I don't know, it kind of, like, it went on, but it would just like fall off, if that makes sense. The packaging, it opens now, but at first it took me like several several months to be able to open it this way before I had to like screw off the top which is also really difficult and like pour it out and there's still a bit left if you can see but I, I don't want to use this on my skin and it's got olive seeds in it I'm guessing that's what the exfoliating what that's what's supposed to be exfoliating but when you rub it on your skin they just kind of with the gel just kind of slide off they don't exfoliate at all so this was a fail for me and I will definitely not be repurchasing this. The head and shoulders, this is, I believe, their strengthening one. I'm not sure what it's called in English. In French, it's force et densité. It smells really good. My hair felt incredibly clean afterwards. It didn't, you know, sometimes you clean your hair and you still like can kind of, it just feels gr a, still a bit grungy afterwards. I didn't have that at all with this tingly clean feeling. I didn't notice a difference in the strength of my hair, but then again, I wasn't doing much to test it. I would definitely repurchase this if I wasn't so busy experimenting with other shampoos. This product I got on sale on Amazon from Amazon UK a while back and I'm very sad to say that it's a lot more expensive now that it's not on sale and I probably won't be repurchasing but it smells so nice and the difference between this one and the Tresemme heat protector that everybody loves and I also have and people they swear by that one is I feel like Tresemme kind of gets my hair a little bit wet as I'm going through especially if I get it all covered and so then I have to like let it dry for half a second so I'm not like frying my hair as I go through with heat stuff and this one doesn't do that at all it just leaves a fine mist and it smells so great this is exactly how I want my hair to smell all the time I might see if they have a shampoo from this company because it smells amazing the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I've written a review on this on my blog. I'll link down to it below. I won't go on and on. It is effective at taking off your makeup and cleaning up your whole face. So you only need to wash once at night if you're in a hurry and you don't have tons and tons of makeup on, just a normal amount. I've already repurchased this. This is the Hydrophase Intense Serum by the La Roche-Posay. <sighs> this product was a huge disappointment because I thought it was the same price as my Bioderma Hydrating Serum. And I get up to the counter and I go to pay and I waited like 45 minutes in line already at this point, okay? I just want to get done, get things scanned and get out of there. And it turned out to be twice the price. So I was like, oof, but if it's twice as good, that will be worth it. It was not, I don't feel like, I felt like I was putting like thick water on my face. 
and then it would dry and be gone and had no hydrating benefits for my face whatsoever. So I was definitely disappointed. If you're looking for a product like this, or if you already like this one, then you will probably love the Bioderma Hydrating Serum. That stuff in France, it's relatively cheap. I think you can get it between 10 and 14 euros, depending on the pharmacy. Overall, a fail, I would never repurchase this, not even if it was on sale. And for me, that's such a bummer because normally I love La Roche Posay, I love a lot of their products, but that one just for me, just, it didn't do anything except make me feel like I lost 25 euros. Um, now for one of my all-time favorites. I actually love just this whole line of moisturizers. It's the Bioderma Hydro, Hydro Bio Riche. I also like their light one, but as I had a really, really dry skin during pregnancy, I preferred to get the slightly heavier one, the Riche, and it was so, so lovely. Let's see, it says rich cream very for very dehydrated, sensitive skin, deep care, generating hydration. Yep, I would say that. It was good, made my hair feel moisturized all day, and is an excellent, excellent base for makeup because you don't feel like it's there, your skin just feels healthier, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel like it's like putting on a mask or that you're putting something that's gonna stick on top of your face. It just sinks in so well and feels like it really gets in there and does the job and makeup applies beautifully on top of this. Now for something less cute, we've got deodorant. This is the Eau de... what is it? Eau de Minim? Eau de Minim. Mm. That's hard to say because there's a lot of M's and N's in there. It is made in the south of France and it is an all-natural deodorant and it smells very herbally and very naturey. If you don't like the smell when you walk into like a nature health food store thing, you probably won't like the smell of this. But if you do like those smells, you're in luck because it smells awesome. Uh, it doesn't have what is it called? I think it's the aluminum that people are very much against. It doesn't have any of that. I uh, used this in the beginning of my pregnancy and had no problems. I smelled wonderful all the time. What did I smell like? I smelled like, I smelled like orange, lemon, and mandarin essential oils. It smelled great. Win. We would definitely repurchase. It is, it's a little bit hard to find. That's the only downer for that product. Um, but when I can find it in France, it's generally around 10 to 14 euros. A cheaper option that does have aluminum, so it's not by any means like one of the healthier, more natural options, but it just gets the job done, is the Nivea Anti-Transparent Invisible for Black and White. It's supposed to not leave any yellow stains or any white stains on your clothes. It's supposed to last 48 hours. It does not last 48 hours especially the roll-on version, but it does last, I would say, a good maybe 18 hours or so. That's something I pay attention to with deodorants, because I hate when they say like 72 hours, and it's like, who is not showering for 72 hours and hoping that their deodorant's gonna pull them through? I don't, I don't know, someone camping? Anyways, this stuff, it was good, it was effective. I bought this before, I would repurchase it again. Uh, I think it's a good solid backup if you're maybe trying out a new deodorant and you're not sure if they're going to work or not. One last product because dental hygiene is important. It's Fluocaril. This is my like all-time favorite toothpaste. It makes my teeth feel so clean and and just smooth when it's all done. My husband loves it as well. You can get this in any pharmacy. I would actually, if you're really if you have problems with cavities and things like that, French pharmacies have amazing, amazing toothpaste for people that have troubles with cavities. I used to, every time I would go to the dentist, even if it would be every six months, have like four or five cavities. And the last four years since I started using this as a student here in France, I've had zero. No cavities. All gone. So this is my best friend. I will repurchase, I repurchase this all the time, no questions asked, a winner. So I hope this video was somewhat interesting, I do have a tendency to babble, I hope I was able to give you a quick like mini review on each product, once again, things that didn't work for me, they might work wonderfully for you, I tried to explain why they didn't work for me, so that if you, maybe the reason they didn't work for me would be the same reason that they would be wonderful for you, so keep that in mind. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. 
and I can't wait to see you all next week, and I'll talk to you later. Ciao!